What are you doing? Yeah. Are you, oh goodness. What's the problem? You okay? No. What's wrong? Oh no. You're very cute. You're very cute. No, I know you know. No, you have a face. <laughs> Today, I'm going to work on this metal earth sent to me by Becky in Oklahoma. Thank you very much. Uh, this one is the F-14 Tomcat. Looks pretty cool. It is a difficulty of medium hard. So it's not super hard, but it's it's in the middle. It's I think it's got some of the probably some of these finer details like in the wings and stuff. I know you can't see that. These little details right in here and the details inside there, that's what's going to be hard. Um, but yeah, I'm going to work on this and uh, I'll show you what it looks like when I'm done. Okay, so here's the jet all done. It wasn't too awfully bad, but the the getting the um, the sides and these, like it's got two separate like pontoon-like things on each side for the landing gears and stuff fitting to the main body. It didn't want to line up straight, so I did have to use a little bit of glue, but I think it's pretty cool. This one has like a, a regular mode and then it has like a, a fast flight mode. I guess when it's really flying at top speed, you, you tilt the wings back and that you can just slide those in and out anytime you want to. So yeah, pretty cool. Not too awfully hard, but, but difficult enough to where it was fun. So uh, thank you again. Okay, we're in Hallmark, and Hallmark has their uh, Christmas stuff out. They also have Halloween stuff, but they have their Christmas stuff out. This is a tree topper. A tree topper. But when you do that, these all interact with it. Yeah, so I don't know how much of this I can play, but... Oh, that's it. It's going to do it in a second. Yeah. yeah. And watch, Look. he'll start talking. See if this Harry Potter does anything. Oh, it just starts the same thing. Um, no, that one doesn't say it's Storyteller, so that doesn't, it didn't all go together. Okay. But see, like these do. Okay, can you push that? <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's a tree top. That goes on top of your Christmas tree. But then I want you to see they have these all these little a keepsake they have these toys and so they have Crayola they have the little um, TV from when I was a kid they have these cars and this is what they look like out of the packages aren't those cute the minion I love these but then I didn't show you over here they have the Disney ones and they also have um this jack skellington wreath and he's been talking like every now and again he'll talk um and then they have this haunted mansion watch the haunted mansion one when inches creak in doorless chambers and strange and frightening sounds echo through the hall is that not cool yeah, and then they have the uh Merry the Christmas! yeah you can kind of wave in front of them Oh, the eyes are no I didn't see Elf. Look at Elf. <laughs> Did you see the sweater? I want to tell you about Christmas But these, these are and Christmas you know, Vacation, Christmas, National Christmas, Lampoon's Christmas Vacation, Christmas and they work together too. Yeah, so like Clark will start singing and she will, Ellen will start singing too. Uh, so those are so, so cool. Um, but they have the dream book out here, so you can get the dream book. This one rocks, but I don't see. Oh, there it is. I actually like the Death Star better. Oh, you do? Mm -hmm. They have pop ornaments, which I didn't even know they did, I don't think. Yeah. Um, and they have Harry Potter, Jack Skellington. Says that they would. Uh, yeah. They, oh my gosh, they have Michael Scott from The Office, Buddy the Elf, friends, they have Phoebe. Gremlins, yeah, they have all of Friends. Oh, the Gremlins. Yeah. Um, and yeah. then these are, what is that, just like a movie? Is she Minecraft? Yeah, Minecraft ones too. That's nice. 
And then this is the Griswold's house. So yeah, these are Harry just Potter. Look at oh, Harry they Potter books. they have also have the friend's couch and the door frame, the frame that's on the door. Look, this is like it's a VHS tape. I wondered what that was. So it's a VHS tape. I'm assuming this is too. Yeah, yeah, they look like old VHS tapes that, inside there. That is neat. Turn it over and see if it's on the back. Oh, okay. It's like a, DV, a, a VHS. A VHS. Box. Yeah. That is so cool. Oh, Kevin, over here they have Pokemon. Mickey. World's best boss. Paw Patrol. Buzz Lightyear. So they have all kinds of stuff for. Um, uh, yes, those are those. Uh, no, that's not the brand. So that's a different brand. But that's a different thing. brand, but it's the same. Uh, yeah. No, she gets hers uh, at Dillard's. I didn't know Simply Southern had those. And I wonder what the price Simply difference Southern. is. Well, okay, how, does it say how much it is? Because she pays like, yeah, that's how much she pays too, so they're no cheaper. But now they have those little purses that are cute. I kind of left you hanging at Hallmark because I started looking at these bags and I wanted to send Ashley a Marco. I'm sure you all know how the feeling where you want to send somebody a text and I completely forgot, hey, I was vlogging. Uh, since we've gotten home from vacation, I haven't been at vlogging as much, and so I just kind of dropped you there. I'm sorry. Um, these are Simply Southern. This is on the Simply Southern website. Their bags, uh, it's the exact same size as, as the bog bags, and so I'll show you. This is what Ashley likes. These are Dillard's, they are bog bags. Um, I do think the bog bags are a thicker, better quality. They're $90 at Dillard's, and you can get all these different colors. Um, Ashley got, I know she got a, like a limited edition one from a parent. It had like, instead of these um, uh, cut, these uh, punch holes punched out, Hers has like hearts. It was like a limited edition one. These from Dillard's are $90 for the bog bag. And then the ones you just saw in the video from Hallmark are, uh, they're, they're actually on sale right now. It says they're normally $84.99. Right now, probably because it's the end of summer, they're on sale. Now, I showed these to Ashley because I wanted Ashley to see um, that they had patterns and see the patterns in there. And so some of you might really like those patterns. She did not like those at all. She said, I do not like the pattern ones at all. She would rather keep getting the bog bag. As a matter of fact, she has, she not only has a bog bag, but she also has a, um, a makeup bag so like it's made of the same really really thick plastic material but she loves it and she loves those bags because they will hold a lot of weight and um, she can put all of her school stuff in them and uh, they won't uh, they don't tear up or at least it hasn't yet so she has two of them so far this is the little makeup bag she got i don't remember what color hers is um, for some reason, I was thinking it was yellow, uh, but I could be completely wrong. Anyway, it's called a bog bag. It's the Beauty and Bog Cosmetic Bag. I did a search for a uh, bog makeup bag, and this is what came up. It's $30, but Ashley said it is, it's a really, really nice bag, and, um, she uh, she's very happy with it. She said it's very sturdy. It'll set up on the counter. It won't fall over or anything like that. So she's very happy with it. Okay, I've got one more thing to show you and then I'm gonna quit talking about these because I'm sure you're tired of hearing about them. These bog bags, I did not know they also have patterns. And I'm sure Ashley knows they have patterns. And so when I showed her the Simply Southern ones, when she said, I don't like the patterned ones, she probably meant she doesn't like the patterns on the bog bags either. Um, I think she just likes the solid colors. But I wanted to show you all because you might really like those patterns. And um, I want you to know that you can also get them on the bog bag if you didn't know that. 
Um, and this one's cute. I told you that she had one with hearts cut out on it. It was a, like a limited edition or something. This one has stars on it uh, cut out. But now it's a baby bog tote bag. And it's 80 bucks for that uh, for the baby one. So anyway, I just wanted to show you bog bag does have patterns as well. Someone was kind enough to send Ashley an Amazon gift card. They sent it, it said uh, Ashley Dunn in care of Tammy Dunn. It came to my P.O. box and it was fine because it had my name on it too. But it was actually an Amazon gift card. I don't even know how much was on it. Um, I uh, took a picture of the back of it and because Ashley said, open it, open it. You know, I, I, I Marcoed her and I uh, said you got a package and I said I don't know what it is I said it doesn't feel like a book and uh, So she told me to open it and so anyway, I sent her a picture of the back of it But it did not have any gift receipt a lot of times uh, Amazon will allow you to put a, a gift receipt in the package so she could Reach out to you personally and thank you, but there was nothing in here. So whoever sent her this gift card Thank you. Thank you. Even if it only had five dollars on it. I mean, that's something because she's having to buy stuff for her classroom right now and uh, That's really nice and she will definitely buy something uh, With this. So yeah, thank everything you. Everything helps. Everything helps. Um, I also got a card This is Buckingham Palace, London This is from Haley and Phil Haley said, Tammy and Kevin couldn't find postage stamps in time, so I'm writing this from our hotel room on the morning we're leaving and mailing it stateside. London changed more than I expected since 2019, but was still lovely. Um, she said, of your many trips, do you have a, um, do you have an attraction that you go to every time and miss when you go? Uh, she said, for me, it's Tower Bridge. I enjoy Tower Bridge, and I would totally go back to Tower Bridge. Uh, just started your Hawaii vlogs. My feet are killing me, but London is always worth it. Haley and Phil. Um, I love her stamps. Look at her stamp. Her bats on. Her postage stamp has bats. Can you see that? Let's see. Hold on. I don't know if you could. There it is. Look. Isn't that cool? I love that stamp. That is awesome. I wonder if she bought that at the post office. Probably. Well, next time you go in there, you need she to said, look. No, not our post. She said she was at the hotel room when they were leaving. Yeah, but she said she couldn't find postage stamps in time, so she had to mail them stateside. Oh, and I thought she, she said. No, uh, and she she's had, saying she wrote it while she, she was wrote in it while she was in the hotel room. Yeah, yeah. Um, she um, uh, told me um, Haley did that, it, that they were there in the middle of the heat wave. So I was asking her, I said- Which is like one of the worst ones they've had to use. Yes, I said, how are you all dealing with that? And she said, it's pretty hot. She said though, what she means by it looks different than it did is because she told me that a lot of shops that were open, I guess all kinds of maybe souvenir shops, gift shops, whatever, have closed. And she said it really surprised her how many shops had closed since their visit in 2019. Uh, so that, uh, it would probably come as a shock to us too, because we haven't been since 2019, I think too. 2019? I think so. Three years, maybe. I think I so. Than that, maybe. No, I think it was about 2019. Anyway, I'm sure it would surprise us as well. And she said- well, Some of the souvenir shops seemed like they were just barely hanging on anyway. Yes, and even from like, we've been several times, so even like from one time to another, there was always something that had closed. And one of them was like this huge gift shop. I mean, it was packed full of stuff. It was near the um, Sherlock Holmes yes. area. Yes, yeah. and it was gone the, the next it time. And, and they had the neatest, coolest souvenirs, and I filmed in there and everything. Cool souvenirs that you didn't see anywhere else. And uh, and it was gone. Yeah, there was a candy store that was there the first time, wasn't the second time. There's right. all kinds of different yeah. stuff. Yeah, but she said, "Do we have an attraction?" Uh, we have been. The museums is always something we make sure we got to. Yeah. So like Victoria and Albert Museum is my favorite museum. So um, <laughs> Wears me out. It does. It will wear you out absolutely. But that's my favorite. But then I love the art at. Um, 
the National Gallery. I love the National Gallery. Um, but we've also been twice now to Hampton, uh, Hampton Court. Yeah, um, and I love it. Um, Last time we went though, it seemed like they had a lot of it closed raining, off. But it I mean, was they, had, cold. they had some of it closed off where you didn't get to see all the rooms like we did the first time. It seemed that way. Maybe. But my goal was in going the second time, my goal was to venture out more outside and in the gardens and, and all this. And it was cold and raining and it was just absolutely miserable. And it's like, oh my gosh, we've paid to get here and now I'm freezing to death. Um, but yeah, I would say um, uh, the museums would be something that, that we like to see every single time uh, that, and it's free, you know? Uh, but I do love Tower Bridge mm -hmm. and we make sure that we go up on the bridge and everything. Yeah. So I love that. Um, I got a letter, so thank you for the postcard. Um, I got a letter from Kevin and Jennifer in California. And I won't say your last name because some people don't like that. Some people don't mind, but just in case, I won't say your last name. This says, hi, Tammy and Kevin. My wife, Jennifer, and I just sent you a box of items that we purchased while in France visiting Jen's family. Once we shipped the box, we realized that we did not include any contact information in the package, hence this letter. So he gave me his email, he gave me Jennifer's email, and he said, we hope you like the gifts. Thank you for all your videos. Well, thank you for the box of goodies from France. Um, I wish that I had relatives that lived in other countries, so that would give me Don't an visit. excuse to go. Yeah, that, I mean, that's the perfect excuse. Well, we haven't seen have, her in a while. We haven't looked in this. No. I just opened it and pulled back the address so we wouldn't show it. No, to we have no <laughs> idea what's in it, yeah. It's a bag. Oh, is that a Target bag from France? I don't know, it's just a Target bag. I just pulled, it was just in there, I pulled padding. it out. I'm sure they used it for padding, but that is a- I don't know if you want to look at this That one. is a- uh, That's a nice Target. That is a reusable Target bag. Yeah. You know I've never had a reusable Target bag, but that's exactly what that is. It's like one of those um, M&S forever bags or whatever. That's exact. It says this everlasting bag is designed for at least 125 uses. <laughs> I swear I've never noticed these at our Target. They might have them. Now, I'm going to look for them next time we go in there. Don't look at that. It, it so tells, they did put a note in there. It just tells you what's in here. Oh, okay. And just saying hello. The, the contact information is like oh, what okay. they were trying to include. There's a little, oh. little magazine. Okay, so this is from uh, Leclerc. E. Leclerc. We've had that brand, mm -hmm. Leclerc. Uh, we've definitely had that brand. So maybe they're store brands. Yeah, I, did, I never knew Leclerc was a store brand. I mm -hmm. guess it, ooh, this is awesome. Okay, once cool. we're done Everything's going- Everything's in euros though, so. Yeah, <laughs> once we're finished means. going through the box, yeah. I'll actually show you this. I'll, yeah, I'll they like, have Nature Valley bars and everything. Oh my gosh, well see, we knew that uh, they had Nature Valley in the UK, yeah. but I wouldn't have thought France, yeah. and they have Weetabix. Uh, but what I'll do is I'll turn the camera around and we can look through this together uh, because this is awesome. It might have the right address. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay, make no, sure. no. So she picked this up while they were in France, I'm yeah. sure. That is so cool. Yeah, we'll go through that together. And there is some hints to how to say stuff in here, but I'd rather you butcher them first. Oh. <laughs> fun with Tammy. Um, that was fun with Tammy. Yeah. Uh, St. Michael, what is that? Flags with Sheldon. Yeah. Uh, St. Michael, uh, these are biscuits. They're, uh, they're like shortbread biscuits yeah, with, with, with milk chocolate on the inside. Let me do this. These are... Mini chooks. Tokapa, Tokapi, Tokapi snacks. Mm -hmm. Um, this is a blue cheese. It looks like I'm assuming this is a this is blue cheese. Like cheese bites, like mm -hmm. little cheese balls. That looks like blue cheese to me. I could be wrong. Oh, this is nougat. Uh, nougat. Uh, yeah, this is. We call it nougat. I think they call it nougar. Nougar. Uh, this is uh, We've nougat. Heard that in the UK too. Yeah, nougat. and that's, nougat. Uh, nougat. it looks like just almonds, yeah, just nougat, but that's a huge bar. 
That's a 200 gram bar. It's heavy. Like I said, a pretty, in here it says how to say all this stuff and what it is. This is cherry gel. Cherry and strawberry and raspberry. Don't like gels. Uh, yes. It looks like it would be like a, a Sour Patch Kid, but it looks like it's. It looks like Turkish Delight to me. Yeah, to me it looks like, because it has like a gritty sugar on the outside. So it looks like it's a Sour Patch Kid, but in a strip form. This is bread. Mm -hmm. um, it looks like it's honey flavored, honey flavored bread. And then lastly, ooh, a mixture of candy. Um, maybe strawberry, cherry, and banana or lemon. I don't know. Oh, caramel. I see. Oh, I see now. Okay. Lemon. Pat de free. Cola. No, that's not it. No, I'm saying this. Lemon, cola, caramel. I don't know, and I don't know. Maybe strawberry. They're listed. She's got it. Okay. Well, this will be fun. Thank you, and thank you so much for taking the time to write everything down. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it says she even wrote how to kind of say them too. I appreciate it because um, when, when I get things uh, that are uh, like this, and if I can't pronounce it, well then I tell you what I type in is I type in translate in Google, and it comes up with. It okay, does pretty decent. Oh, it, it's awesome! It comes up with okay. Type in the foreign word, and then it'll tran uh, translate it to the English version. And I love that because I've done like entire sentences because sometimes you can only find the like the German website. And so, or, or the German um, like grocery store. So I've like copied and pasted whole sentences uh, from the German grocery store and pasted it in there and then let it type it out for me what it says because it's like, I don't have a clue. Uh, so this will be fun. Mm -hmm. Just learn, that's like a cinnamon bread. Oh, well, it looks like it would be honey. It's, yeah. It's Cause like it, well, it has a picture of honey on it right there. Anyway, you'll, you'll have to, when we do the reviews, you hand me a read I will stuff. talk yeah. about it and everything. Uh, but thank you. Thank you so much. This was so kind of you to uh, go visit your family and friends. Mm -hmm. And you thought of us. And and some of this you might want to read now. Let's see. Know, well, you can, it says, you well, can decide what you want to read. Now's the time that I read this and then we're doing the review. I just stick to thing. talking about the food. Yeah. yeah. Dear Tammy and Kevin, my husband, also named Kevin, and I have been watching your channel for years now. Kevin watches y'all every day during his after-school snack, after dinner, or sometimes before falling asleep. And I always search on your channel when I want to buy something new to see if you've tried it first. Thank you very, very much. And we're much. good to fall asleep too, especially me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> We started with just the food review videos and then started enjoying Kevin's lunchtime reviews and your travel vlogs. We live in Lafayette, California, but I'm actually French, moved here 12 years ago and a, a few months ago uh, while watching a video in which you unpacked some items that a viewer sent you. We thought it would be cool if we sent y'all something too. We're both teachers and go back to visit my family in France almost every summer. We just came back from our summer trip and so we bought some French items for you to try and I'm hoping they won't be in your amazing jungle gym store. So jealous of that one. So they will be new to you too. Um, we, I actually like how she spelled out y'all. Yeah, I know she typed out y'all. I wouldn't expect that from anybody from, from France um, or California. No. <laughs> Y'all. <laughs> Y'all. Um, Jungle Gems is awesome. We usually go to Jungle Gems twice a year. Yeah. Usually it's twice a year. And when was the last time we were there? Was it before Christmas or after? No, exactly. I don't know. But we haven't been in a while. And, and frankly... It hasn't been long enough for me. It's a, of a trip. it's a it's a it's a whole day because we have, me out. We have so to get tired. up early we have to drive to the next town over and buy dry ice from meyer because nobody else sells dry ice and lord forbid jungle gems sell dry ice yeah, i don't it'd be know so smart if they did it would be yeah and so then we so we have to stop off in lexington and then we have to drive what an hour and a half an hour and a half two hours two hours to get to the other to side get of there 
and to get to jungle gyms and then you do you walk around for hours and then it's an hour and a half back but the thing is is then this kitchen is full yeah. it's full of stuff so it takes another 45 minutes to uh, kevin has to price it yeah to write down prices right? and then i have to it's take incredible. pictures of every little thing because a lot of i've noticed um um the last time the last time i watched a food review um i don't even remember who it was because i usually don't watch other food reviews because i like to be surprised uh, but the last time I watched a food review, they didn't have any pictures. Like, they didn't take pictures of the nutritional information, the, the ingredients, or anything like that. I do. So, when we get home, not only is Kevin looking at this mile-long receipt to try to figure out the prices it's of like a CBS each receipt. little... Oh, listen. It's a nightmare. It's I'm taking pictures of everything. So, it's like a million pictures that I'm taking. Um, so, uh, yeah. We... We haven't had to go to Jungle Gems just because we have received things from generous viewers like you, and that helps us, that keeps us from having to go so often. So thank you very, very much. We greatly appreciate it. And I'm gonna show you this magazine right now. So here is the, the store ad from E. Leclerc is what it says. And like I said, I'm almost positive Kevin and I have had some stuff from this brand. Um, but I don't, I don't recognize anything yet that, that we might have had. Of course, these are all things just like our cell ads here. You know, they put things in here that are on offer, special offer for the week. Um, that looks good. It looks like it would be uh, roast turkey potato chips. Uh, those look really good. Um, and then a bunch of this stuff. Let's see. This looks like it's gonna be cheese, and these look like maybe yogurts. It says fondant. Uh, that looks like it would be a yogurt. Oh, look at this. This looks like it would be, maybe these are vegan? I'm not sure. Um, and there's some vanilla. So I like how they're putting all the, um, like the meats on one page, the dairy on one page, we have the cleaning stuff on one page. Oh, and they have clothes. Oh, wow. What's cool is um, we have we have a Kroger in our town, a Kroger grocery store. And our Kroger grocery store, they might sell t-shirts every now and then. There's the Nature Valley Crunchy. They might sell um, t-shirts every now and then, like for the, for the Kentucky Derby or something like that. Um, but look at these happy friends, but, um, they don't have like a section of clothes. So if you go, that's interesting that they get those paprika. Um, if you go to a bigger Kroger in like Lexington, they have like a whole section of clothes. So, I mean, like literally like pants, shirts, uh, night clothes, you know, um, underclothes, they have everything. They also have home goods, like they have, uh, stuff for your house, and, uh, um, and the prices, the prices, it's not like they're cheap or anything like that. Um, so, um, I only look at the clothes sometimes when they're on sale in Kroger, uh, but I, I can say I haven't bought a lot from there. Um, I bought things for other people, but I haven't bought a lot for myself. Wow. You, um, you can buy cheese like this here, of course, but this is not like common grocery store. Like, this is not what you see, like, in our ad, um, for, for stuff. Oh, the, they have the flower department, the bakery. Aha. Now, this looks good. These are like popsicles in different flavors. Those are made by Nestle. Oh, and look, they have the Magnum Double uh, Caramel Bars. And we have those. Activia, we have those. I don't think I've ever had Activia. Is that the commercial that uh, Jamie Lee Curtis does? Does she do activity, Activia um, commercials? I can honestly say that I have not seen a commercial in a long time. 
one of the things that I enjoy doing, just I very rarely do it, but I do enjoy it, is going on YouTube and looking at um, old TV commercials. So if you like type in on YouTube uh, 80s TV commercials, it's so much fun to watch 80s TV commercials. And, and you have people that have put them in uh, like like you'll have a, a 20 minute long video or a half an hour long video or something like that and oh they have the borson um we just recently bought that um but if you can watch a, a commercial after commercial and it's so you know you wouldn't think that you know seeing them on tv it gets on your nerves we've definitely had lion um it gets on your nerves when you see them on tv or it does me at least but when you see, like, that's a piece of nostalgia. It's different watching it from your childhood, and, and then you remember, and it brings back memories, and maybe what you were doing uh, when this commercial was on, or, you know, I just, uh, I, I, I like watching the old commercials. So, there is your magazine, your store magazine. That is so much fun. Kevin will look at this too. Um, he will enjoy this, and especially that game stuff at the end. I think it's going to surprise him that they sell those in the store because, like, like Kroger, like, even though I told you they sell um, clothing and home goods and stuff like that, they don't sell TVs. They don't sell TVs, computers, gaming systems. They do not sell stuff like that in Kroger. So that is something that we don't have in a regular grocery store for sure. Um, but I want to show you one more thing before I stop here. Um, my friend of mine in Wales, Malcolm, has sent me the book Revenge. And I cannot wait to sink my teeth into this. This book, I'm getting it early from Malcolm. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Malcolm. Um, this book will not be released over here until September 6th. And um, as a matter of fact, when uh, Malcolm told me about the book, um, I, when I was looking it up on Amazon, I couldn't even find it on Amazon. Like, it wasn't even listed on Amazon at that time. So then, um, I searched, now that I have the book, I searched again, and I thought, well, surely you're going to be able to buy this over here. And they said September 6th is when you're going to be able to get it. Uh, but this is uh, by Tom Bauer, and it's Megan, Harry, and the War Between the Windsors. And... Um, yeah, I'm very, very excited to sink my teeth into this book, um, and I, I can't wait. Oh, and there's a picture section. Oh, awesome. I did not expect, uh, I did not expect there to be a section of pictures. I love it when they do that. Okay, wait a minute. I don't want to, this one's kind of stuck. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I did not expect there to be a section of pictures in there, but I like it when they do that in books uh, because I don't know you you know you're reading about these people and then to see pictures it just makes it that much more real. Thank you very very much, Malcolm. I have a new dumb Tammy thing that I did. I'm sitting at the desk and <laughs> Kevin brought me a cup of coffee and I looked down at it and I went oh. I screamed because I saw that bee on the cup <laughs> and I thought it was real and Kevin said I scared him to death he said I thought you had seen a spider or something but I just glanced down and saw that bee and <laughs> it just freaked me out we have a box to open from Joey, and I know what it is because Joey contacted me. You know specifically what it is or just in general what it is? I know in general that it's okay. her potato chips. But you don't know. And well, I've seen Joey have, have sent me a picture or something way back, but I just don't remember. I know these are special flavors of her potato chips. They've been out for a little while, and if you're in her country, You've probably been able oh, to yeah. get them for a long time. Yeah, you're like, well, the Lord, are you looking Why at Why are you showing them now? Months, we don't get them after right they've now. been out for months. Yeah, we don't get, we get her, some Harvest potato chips, but they're not common around here. Harvest, I think, aren't they made in Pennsylvania? Uh, Joey lives in Pennsylvania, though. Yeah, 
They're made in Nottingham, Pennsylvania. So uh, that's where Joey lives. So he, he at first they only he only saw them in the big bags. And then, because, I mean, you're talking about, as far as shipping goes, shipping prices have gone up, okay? Yeah, that's ridiculous. You're talking about having to ship three full-size bags in a big box. It's expensive as heck. So, I'm glad he waited until he could get reasonable size bags. I guess it's the, at the, uh, like a gas station. This is the Wizwit. It's like a Philly cheesesteak with a cheese whiz on top of it. Wizwit. I've never... Wizwit. Um, yeah. Um, Wizwit flavor chip is drenched in delicious cheesy onion flavor with a bit of meat to match the cheesy goodness that oozes out of the back of your roll after your first bite. Now, are they calling the hot dog bun a roll? Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's a hot dog bun. It's a roll. It's a bun. Like a bun. It's not a hot dog. Oh, that's not a hot dog. No, it's like a oh, Philly cheese dog. Oh, I see. Okay. I thought it was... <laughs> when I first looked at it, I thought it was a hot dog. Okay. Forgive me. Okay. It's crazy. <coughs> Losing. Long Hots. Look like peppers. Yes. That looks like a banana pepper or a... Let's see. This is the Long Hots and Sharp Provolone artificially flavored chip delivers a bold roasted pepper flavor combined with notes of provolone cheese in the background and a mild heat that builds with each chip and the flavors complement each other perfectly okay yeah, so it's some kind of pepper a pepper or cheese. and this one is the 215 special sauce is it? um and it's it looks like ketchup, a hot sauce yeah a combination of of the 215 special sauce chip is the perfect blend of tangy vinegar and savory flavors with a hint of heat. Uh, cool. These, these would be awesome. And apparently they were having a competition because you're supposed to vote. Uh, so if you're in the Philly area, you buy these, you vote for your favorite one. I wonder when it ended. Um, no purchase necessary. Okay. Promotion begins. Okay, so see, these have been out for a long time. The promotion began on November 11th, 2021. Promotion ends, it's um, it's already ended. <coughs> and so it's already over. So if we wanted to vote, we couldn't, but we can do the video for you all. And they're still good, they're that. not expired. Oh no, they're, they're, yeah, these are good until uh, in October. So they're completely fine. So thank you, Joey. I'm thrilled to death to get them. I really am. Because we would have never gotten these, let's face it. No, not like um, you saw them at Big Lots somewhere. I was going to say that. Big Lots or Ollie's. Ollie's. Because yeah, sometimes Ollie's get some... Uh, we go some into hers. Ollie's all the time and they do get hers. Mm -hmm. they, they always have a selection of hers. It would not surprise me if we didn't go in there in like a, a, a month and they didn't have these. Yeah, you never know. Um, wouldn't surprise me at all. Um... I'm going to end the vlog for this week. Um, I know there wasn't a lot of extra videos or whatever because since we've been back from vacation, frankly, I just haven't been in the habit of filming every time we go out. We haven't went uh, a lot of places either, though, either. We really, haven't. Honestly, nothing different. Just no, we really haven't. Same haunts. Yeah, we really haven't done anything that different. Um, but I have been asked to update you all on... Um, uh, my sister and her family because you haven't seen them um, on the videos for a while and also Christina. So I can tell you about my sister. I haven't been out there in a little while. I went out there. Drop something off. I, yeah, I, I was out there about a week ago literally to drop something off. Was it something I had made or I don't remember. Anyway, I literally dropped something off um, and um, I, I talked to my nieces um, and saw their kids, but I didn't even actually see Jennifer. Jennifer, um, this is something that I never talked about during the vlog, but I, I'll talk about it here because I know they don't care. Um, Jennifer has two girls, which you've met during the vlogs at some point or another. Both of those girls um, had children of their own. So little one, boy, one girl. yeah, one had a little boy, one had a little girl, and one, uh, and one was uh, born in, gosh, uh, they were like, like months from me. Yeah, just like a month or two. Ago. 
difference. Really. Like three months apart, yeah, I'm not thinking. Much. Yeah, not much difference. So it goes without saying, Jennifer's life has changed completely. She is busy all the time. All the time. Um, she works, she goes to the gym, and those are her priorities. And then she has uh, two grandchildren now to take uh, to help with. Of course, she doesn't take care of them. Her girls do, but she she helps take care of them. And uh, she uh, cooks the meals. And and I mean, she is busy all the time. So that's why I haven't been out there in a while and showed you around because um, they've done all kinds of things. Their backyard. Um, they built a like a shelter. Like a park, really. a pergola. Yeah, like, like a, I mean, no, it's like a park shelter. No, it is because a pergola has is like slats. Right. No, this, this is like has a, a roof. If over you go it. to the park and rent some place for family reunions with the shelter, like a shelter, yeah, that, that's what this looks like. Yes, and I mean, he did a beautiful yeah, it job good. on it. Metal roof. Um, and everything. So, um, yeah, they have done stuff. They've had their garden this year, which has been huge and lush and they that you know they've been getting all the vegetables from it but that's why i haven't been out there is just because she's been so busy the only time she has to do anything is on the weekend and quite frankly by that time her her weekends i don't blame her you know she doesn't want company out there all the time or i don't want to bug her uh when she's been away working all week and just recently she's been down on her back so She's had a horrible time with her back. She's had to go to the chiropractor. Um, it's been awful. It's been horrible for her. Um, so she's just getting over that. So the last thing I want to do is go out there and stick a camera in her face. So, but everybody's healthy, all that. So, so she's doing good. But that's why you haven't seen her lately. Now, Christina, um, Christina is... Um, she's it's still just making improvements you know yeah. that's, that's really she still is going to her physical therapy yeah. appointments she goes to those what once, once a week, week i think yeah um i mean and she's doing good she's she's able to get down on the floor get up she can squat down and give the kids a bath she can uh, pretty much i won't say do what she used to do but she can she can get there you know it may not be perfect it may not be the easiest thing to do but she can do it Yes. Um, um, she's not running or anything. <laughs> I mean, no. But, um, but she's not on any aid. Yeah. She it's doesn't just her. have a cane no canes, or a walker no. or anything like that. Yeah. She is. Um, she's walking without any help. Yeah. Now they are expecting like um, future surgeries. So like yes. like there's yes. a bone in her arm that's not quite. It's all got plates and pins and stuff still in her. But it's arm never stuff. gone back. But it's together. never like the two bones are there and it's being held together by plates. But the bone the bone between is never like reattached. So um, so what they're saying is they're probably going to have to do a bone graft in there. So um, and that won't be too long. No, they said that'll that. probably be within the next few months. Yeah, because um, it hasn't healed. Back. At some point, she may need a knee replacement because remember she mm -hmm. she basically shattered both knees. Mm -hmm. um, they're thinking she probably will need a knee replacement again. Not the end of the world. Lots of people have knee replacements, but exactly. it, will, it does change your life a little bit. It so, does. Um, so so she's working through all that. Um, but well, just to know it's a sure thing, you know. Um, uh, you might think, yes, realistically, later on in my life, I will probably end up having a surgery of some kind. She knows for sure <laughs> she's going to have to have some surgeries in her future. Yeah. And um, so... And they don't know the extent, like the knee replacement. They don't know that they're going to have to replace the knee, but they'll probably have to do something. Right. I also think that, too, um, I think that this happens to everybody is it does a um, kind of like a, a mind trick on you too when you've been in a, a wreck as far as it makes you very nervous to be on the road. Kevin and I were in a wreck years ago. Probably 20. Andrew 20 was ago. in the back seat. It was not Kevin's fault at all. And, it up, so don't. and that is like this huge thing with me is I'm just, I'm a horrible, horrible She's passenger. Very, very nervous passenger. I think Christina will probably always be that way too, especially this happened on a country road. When it comes to country roads, I think she's going to always be that way. She's always going to be nervous, and I think rightly so, because 
you know, even though your body has healed, your mind is, it's always there. It's always in the back uh, that that could happen. And it could always happen, you know, you just never know. Um, but as far as from what she came from mm -hmm. to what the way yeah, she's, she's doing, doing now, really, really good. yeah, it. I think anybody would be like, "Oh my gosh, that's just absolutely incredible." Yeah, yeah, because yeah. she came over um, a couple of weeks ago, probably, mm -hmm. and she got down on the floor and was sitting playing with the kids, and she didn't hop back up. She did hop back up, you know, on her own. She didn't and she's showing anything. us special exercises yeah. that she does. Uh, something that's helping her a lot is the pool therapy. Just to be able to go and do certain exercises and work with weights in the pool. Mm -hmm. Apparently, that is a huge part of her uh, therapy and getting her back to to Stretch where she her needs to be. Back up and stuff. Yeah, her joints exactly. And, and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. and so uh, one other update, not to do with them or anything, but <clears throat> and just as far as school goes, Ashley has. Her school year has started back, so I showed you a video of her classroom. So they're they're back in session now. A lot of schools are back in session now. And Kevin, we're Kevin's, not we're not back in, in session yet, but we're. When do you, yeah, this goes out on Monday? Um, that today. Okay. <laughs> the so 15th. as you're watching this video, no, um, back in. but. To me, you're already back because yeah, August first is when all the faculty come back. And that's when, I mean, I'm working all summer anyway. Oh, yeah. But, um, but when faculty get back in and we're switching to a new learning system, so it's like everybody's kind of scrambling to get things ready. Yeah. So it's been a very, very busy two weeks. Yeah, Kevin's already been, like, even just because, like, it hasn't officially started, that doesn't mean he's not working. He has been in meetings every day. He's been on um, uh, answering emails. Of course, that was all summer long. All, and, all and, day, all night. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, he is always doing stuff anyway. So that that we're back. We're getting back into the schedule now. Yeah. It'll actually slow down if you give it another four weeks, three or four weeks. It'll actually slow down a little bit because uh, once they faculty get their classes started, they kind of get in the groove and they, they move on. So it slows down a little bit. Right. Then you got other things come up. So nothing ever stops. Thank you to everyone who checked on us. I know uh, you all heard about the uh, flooding mm -hmm. in Kentucky. Yeah, it wasn't near us. It was not near us. Um, so, I mean, and we are very, very grateful. Uh, it, I, um, have seen the scenes from it. Don't I've heard it. the news stories and it's horrible. It's absolutely horrific. Uh, but thank you to everyone who, who reached out and, and asked us how we were doing and everything. Uh, we, we did have a lot of rain here, yeah. uh, but we just did not have the flooding. Now that's not to say out on the country roads, you always have country roads that have their their parts that flood uh, when it rains too much, but we didn't have any in our immediate area. So, but thank you for everyone for checking on us. Um, I do want to thank too the Patreon, our Patreon supporters. Thank you so much, the members, the, the those Listen. of you. Yeah, the, the, YouTube up, the YouTube membership. Thank you so very very much, and just for liking the videos and subscribing and watching our all of our hawaii videos um it was for the most part very 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 positive comments so we greatly appreciate it so i hope you enjoyed the video and we'll see you next week